Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. The next question is from Lisbeth. I hope that I have pronounced your name correctly. And she says, Hi Nelia, I'm taking your class about death since about five minutes. I'm very interested in what you're going to tell me about this subject. In the Netherlands where I live, there are certain groups where it is an important theme. I have a question. When you are aware you are living in what is called the matrix and you do not want to come back here next time, what can you, we do right now to prevent this from happening? Do you have an advice? Uh, oh, okay. How to get there where you really belong from the heart? Well, actually, that question was answered later on in the class. Um, however, I'll, I'll go through, but back to it and give you some more information. You are an eternal divine being. There's nothing that can trap you except yourself. So the, one of the things we can do to ensure that we don't come back here, if that's really what we want to do, not come back here, is really our decision, is to listen to this class several times so that the information about the fact that you decide where you go after you die here is yours, right? It's your power, your decision. Um, and all the belief systems and fears and things that can come up to bring you back, the own self traps that we put in place to make sure that we come back. You can remove all those for sure. One of them would be the fear of being tr tricked into coming back into this life. Um, I find that once you become aware of all this information that has been given in the class and you make sure that you've really integrated it by, by listening to the class or reading the class several times, once you are aware that it is your decision of what happens and the realities that you experience are your co-creations you can do whatever you like. You don't have to come back. You can actually change your mind and come back. And if you want to make sure you don't change your mind and come back, you can make a lot of intents and make sure that that's really ingrained in your mind, in your soul, at a soul level. Uh, whatever you do, don't change your mind and come back. Um, so that it doesn't happen. Also, one of the things that I think helps a lot is that you don't have to make a decision right away. When you die, you can just chill and hang out. You don't have to make an instant decision about what you're going to do, where you're going to go, or, or anything. You can just chill and hang. Really, you don't have to do it. There's a lot of fears about, oh, if you don't go to the light, you're going to get trapped here on this planet as a, a spirit and all these type of things. Again, nothing can trap you unless you let it because you're a divine eternal being. So if you need to take time, need to uh, experience or uh, investigate and explore further before you make a decision about where to go, what to do in your in-between lifetime space, then take your time. The other thing you can do is have like a daydream, right? Daydream yourself dying and being in the in-between life space and going through the process. See if anything comes up, any fears come up. Fears are low frequency energies that will, it's kind of makes decisions for you. It leaves you wide open for manipulation. So if there are any fears that come up, process those. You can go to inelevens.com. We have a fear processing exercise there. Use that, okay? So a very good question, thank you. And I hope that that answers it for you and you can have amazing in-between life experience and the rest of your life without the fear of being trapped here in this matrix.